screen capture didn't get the right the right rail there, but uh, anyway, uh, thank you for the opportunity to come and speak. Um, Real Estate Channel is one of our companies, one of our digital media companies, and Real Estate Channel is more of a, a content distribution news network. Think of it as like a CNN of real estate over the internet worldwide. Um, but instead of talking about Real Estate Channel and what that's about, I'd rather talk to you more about where are the market's going and tie it back to some hiring needs, especially like our, type companies like ours. But to understand where the market's going, you have to look back. And with that being said, we typically look at things with three lenses. One is verticalization. One is cycles, and one is speed. And let me go through these three points. Um, if you study the history of media, whenever you introduce a new technology platform to the media marketplace, it's always horizontal. Then it goes vertical. If you look back 70 years ago, Time, Life, Reader's Digest. Now you've got 10,000 flavors of magazines you can think of. Think 60 years ago, ABC, CBS, NBC. Um, now you've got 1,000 cable channel universe. Fast forward to today, the internet and broadband, Facebook, YouTube, Google, and everything else. And what you're going to start seeing there is a verticalization of the market. So that's trend number one. The other thing is cycles. History repeats itself again and again. And I'm going to use the, the, the analogy of cable television and broadcast television for this one. Um, 60 years ago, ABC, CBS, NBC, <coughs> over there broadcasters, if you had television sets, you had rabbit ears. For those who remember rabbit ears, you're dating yourself now, but rabbit ears on the back of your TV. And if you had, if you lived in the mountains and valleys around the country, you can get very good reception of free TV. So two pioneering guys, independent of each other, one in Pennsylvania, one in Denver, went up to the top of mountains and, and built giant rabbit ears, ran a little wire down to their house to get better reception of free TV. But that was not really what drove cable in the marketplace. It was about 20-something years later, two guys, which is 27 years ago now, Ted Turner and Jerry Levin, CNN and HBO, they created the content that was so compelling, people would pay $5 even if they could get free TV. But what, what the analogy there is, it was content that drove the marketplace and the uptake of cable into the market. But you know, cable is basically the better reception of free TV. Fast forward to today's new enabling technology of IP-based media or internet media, broadband media. You know, we all started this thing, you know, 10 plus years ago, not before it was ARPANET, but that was like 56K dial-up stuff. If you remember back then, that little dee 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 and then finally hook up, you could get maybe a few lines of text and a little bitty picture. But as the pipes became fatter and thicker with broadband, the higher speeds of the house, you know, you could have streaming media. So with that today, the market's now cycling back like from broadcast to cable. Now with the internet, broadband is nothing more than better reception of the internet. But it's on an interactive basis, on demand, and instant. So that being said, you have all types of content that can flow to your house. So with that being said, that's a cycle repeating itself from broadcast to cable. Now the next platform, internet broadband going forward. And the other thing is speed. You know, years and years ago, if you want to news once on a week basis, then on a daily basis at 6.30 with Brian Williams, or not Brian Williams, back then it was Tom Brokaw, or uh, uh, Dan Rather. If you missed Dan Rather at 6.30, you missed the news of the world. And now in today's world, it's instant on demand, always there. So that's the third thing. So with that being said, moving forward in, in media in terms of the marketplace and what's going on, um, with this random access, because the old models were linear. And it was, you know, they showed you what they want to show you when they want to show you. And now because of the enabling technology of IP-based media, it's now on-demand, instant on. It's random access, if you will. So with that type of, of anomaly going on in the marketplace for digital media, you have unlimited shelf space of content. In our case, we have a 500 million video clip library capability. We'll never run out of video clip capability uh, in terms of showing videos and content to the world, if you will. But therein lies a dilemma in our needs. Other companies will have the same kind of thing. Is we need to have a lot of content management, and the ingestion of content, the management of content, the trafficking of content, the broadcasting of content, the reporting of content, and the digital rights management issues of that content. So we don't invent technologies; we apply them to business processes. But in our case, content management is going to be a very big issue going forward. And as we scale this company, Real Estate Channel, one of several, we're going to need lots of that kind of skill sets with our own company. 
So, you know, to wrap that up, you know, that's our focus is content management, the distribution of all the stuff that we'll go back.